Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farms. Your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, I just got 200 chickens loaded up into our truck. Our very loud truck. And, uh, yeah. They're back there somewhere. Let's see if we can see them. There we go. They're all in their little pens. I have to. We got uh, the man on X too. Sorry, folks. I'm going to go in here and turn down the volume just a little. Maybe that'll work. I don't know if y'all, if it's too loud for y'all, let me know. I'll adjust it some more next time. But we are going to take these, not to the meat market, not to the animal market. We're taking them to our pens. This pen is full. It was 500 max. So I took 200 out. And yeah, I'll see you when we get to the uh, other pens. First, look at our cotton, folks. Oh, our cotton's done pretty good. Let's just pull out here. Oh, yeah. That won't be long. Oh, we might need a cultivator. We'll see about that. But today, folks, today we're going to be cutting some barley. We got a new combine to show you. So please stay tuned. If you like this content, hit that like button. Share me with your friends. But folks, I'll see you here in just a second. I told you it'd be just a second. <laughs> Alright, we're fixing up. Um, if I hit the right button. Alright, as you can see, these only have 30 in it. Of 500, we have uh, 200 on our truck, so... See, it'll be 130, and we'll take out 100, so... There we go. I like its new moving feature. Just hold A down and voila. After 20 seconds or so, it gets a little bit faster. So we was at 30. Oop. Gotta take. There we go. We should have 100 left now. So confirm. And 100 chickens left. I don't know how I'm going to get to this other Um, That's the eggs we got so far. That's why I'm wanting to. Uh, that's out of both pens. That's why I wanted to move them over. See, this one's way over here. I think I'll just back in from the house, sir. So, once again. See you in a second. All right, we're moving the last of them. And that should come down to 130 on this one also. There's a few mixed ones in there, but it'd be all right. And hope oh, I did it right. 130. That will help boost these two pins up, hopefully. So we're going to hit confirm. We're going to go into this here this is our free range chickens everything's hunky dory on them even that a little, little little bit of food gone but I do have a new mod in now that will feed everybody I don't know morning and night or just in the mornings but it was supposed to feed them all well we got to sell some pigs here probably next day or two anyway let's get a I want to get this guy pulled up and out and we're gonna go get our combine before it gets too much later so I'll see y'all over there okay I forgot I had a load of logs here to sell I won't take but a second we'll get those sold I 
I thought my computer froze there for a second. It's always a few that's wants to hang on. Come on. Oh, I can't pick up object. Always that one that wants to hang on up there. There we go. Alright. We're almost up to 200,000. Um, yeah, let's go to our combine now. All right, folks, we are in our new combine. Brand new John Deere. S790. Yeah, here so you can see it while it's warming up. S790. Got a number one decal on it because it's, it's not our first combine we had, but it's got a tow hitch on it. Uh, we brought the header down really ain't the header trailer for this header as you can see it kind of stops right there and it's a lot hanging off the back and the tongue's kind of short on this and so that's why the pickup truck br brought it down all right I unfold this baby and we are going to line up here We're going to get Colin to hook up our PTO and stuff for us. Oh, look at there. He's so fast at it. And this is uh, one of the CWS. What it is, these yellow bars that comes down, it's actually air pipes that blows the grain back up on the header instead of letting it fall off. Oh, I don't want to hit. Oh, I got too close. Right, I got to get out and move it. Move the header trailer out of the way. We got a semi. Oh, that's loud. Pull that up here just a little bit. Make sure I'm on the, this side of the white line there. Don't want nobody hitting us. So we got the uh, grain truck and auger wagon down there on 8400. Ow, that barbed wire hurt. Alright. And they're probably like, where's our barley? Folks, I hate to do this, but our barley's way back here. I'm just going to cut across our corn. May it won't compact the ground too much. Our buggy's just going to transport it down the edge of this bush area here. And we're going to be working on cutting the trees out of this area too. Alright, I didn't think it's going to fit through here, but I did. Alright, we're going to turn this on. And let's see here. Disable straw whip. Nope, we want to keep that. Here we go. Things looking good. Taking it like a champ. And as you can see right there on the header, it's got number one on it too. It's six mile an hour, but you know what? I think we're going to get a pretty good amount off of this. I hope we do anyway. Most of this probably going to be chicken feed anyway. Now, I drove a 8820 before, and the cab on it is off to the side. 
and your motors like over here and I don't know it just seemed like you could see better but with these bigger headers and stuff it just seems like it's hard would be hard to see at night <clears throat> excuse me my sinus has been acting up pretty bad too just made our first turn there um, went ahead and cut out me taking a thumbnail so yeah by now you already know what the thumbnail is so I might use that it looked pretty good but you see the top up there I got a tractor and a loader wagon waiting yeah, we're going to pick up the straw off this because our cow's going to be needing it. Our pig's probably going to need some more too. So, yeah. But folks, I will see you here in a bit. I'm going to do a headland or two and then bring you up back when I'm almost done, okay? I'm trying not to make this video too long. Alright, folks. We ain't made a, a through yet. and We're already 85%. It's our first through right there. I did change it back to AI worker because it would do the, the curves and contours, whatever you want to call them. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. He's about 87. I say he. Yeah, it's fill up. Let's go ahead and get up here and unload them. It's probably going to stop, I think. Yeah. Let me get that pipe out so we know exactly how far. Oh, yeah. Look at there. I think we're going to end up getting... Now, I did buy this. I sold enough wood. Now, hopefully show that to y'all here in a minute. And, uh... Yeah, we gotta keep selling some more wood because we gotta get us a cotton picker, folks. That's what I'm trying to do next. Um, hopefully August the first, which should be tomorrow. If y'all watching this same day that I post it, that did that make any sense? I wonder if I can keep going by. Oh yeah, good. I got uh, <clears throat> weight on unload, but Rock is doing pretty good. I'm gonna stop there. We're twenty nine percent full, so what about three more dumps on us? Not bad. <clears throat> we get on up here in the grass, and then we're gonna switch over to our. Uh, drone view and show y'all what you can see right now that's the sheep area the main farm sheep area all these trees are gone up to here and that's where Bo Mr. Yankee lives over there but let me uh, get this where we can see a little bit here shut this off Let's launch the drone. There we go. And as you can see, there's our cotton field that we bought. And uh, that's our main shop. That's our sheep. And we got some trees around here we're still going to do. Um, I hauled three or four loads of hay from here over to our main shop silo for our cows. But yeah, folks, we, we have uh, a little bit of grass here left to mow. And uh, there's two fields of soybeans up there. 
And I don't know why our corn ain't popped up yet. We planted it first, and our soybeans are popping up before that. Um, they should be all right for a second. Let me get my drone on down here. This is what we'll be harvesting next. There are sunflowers. Drove down just a little. You can see them. Look how well they're. Those babies are ready to harvest us about. Let's actually go in and see. Um, but here's our canola. There's a combine. There's us right there. As you can see here, field 43 is sunflowers. And they are just about ready. I guess our corn's going to be late. Because here's our two fields of, of beans here. And here's our cotton over here. Cotton's probably coming off. Be sunflowers and then maybe the cotton, then beans. But it's going to be close to about the same time. But this purple here is here, and here is grass that we done mowed. Um, if I remember right, we got this here to mow, and some around our sheep area here over here, and chickens to mow, and then. Uh, We'll be done with the grass probably this year. I entered the wrong one. That's all right. Let's go check the combine real quick. Our combine was only at half. Well, about 53%. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in this and get behind them and pick up some of this straw. Um, this field pretty much going probably going to need uh, loud and lime and of course fertilizer and all that good stuff but when we plow this I'm gonna I don't know I'm thinking about just switching our fields around I have to see what we can do with this but <sighs> I do know we got a few trees right here we gotta cut down just to be safe with our equipment and let's see combines at 60 for 64 percent let's look at our map again uh field 35 right here with a little circle in the middle of your screen Field 35, 34, all up through here is grass. And all this over here is grass. Basically, all this right in here is grass. So, what I was thinking about field 45 will be cut off with this road here. And then take 34 and 35 and turn that into a uh, what they would call arable field to pretty much put crops in besides grass and let's turn all this here even field 12 into grass and from our shop here field 29 over to 23 this whole block here to be grass that's what I'm thinking now, I'm not for sure as that's what I'm thinking right now The reason why I'm doing loose, some of y'all might ask why I'm not bailing it. Uh, I like to do loose because it goes through our systems better. Uh, our dryers and stuff like that. So uh, We're almost at 80%. We're not even going to get a good full truckload off of this, but it'll be alright. I think it'll be alright. We're just mostly going to be feed for chickens. Catch him on it straight away, hopefully. But folks, I'll bring you back here in a second when we're done. 
so I can see how much we got and stuff like that. So be back in a second. Yeah, just bring you back for a little bit. I got the AI helper on. And that's all we got left, folks. Uh, got all the straw picked up, so what's there too, so yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh so far, two hundred and seventy-nine thousand two hundred and twelve liters of straw. That is eighteen point forty seven tons. Yeah, that's a lot of straw. A lot of straw. That's it. Better go ahead and turn this off. We're gonna go see what was in our buggy over here real quick. Oh, I gotta go empty this out. Um Yeah, the combine is only at thirty eight percent so he can uh, bring that out when he comes. I might just need to bring it out that way, I guess, to the shop. Be better. I don't know why I picked over here for. I really don't. Cut through here. These bushes ain't too bad here. Don't need to get on our cotton. But the high line wires is on that side. No cars coming, that's good. Am I going to hit that? Oh no, we got plenty of room under them. Oh wow, thing unloads fast. some on the back here you kind of want your load to be equal front and back that way um, your brakes and stuff works right but folks um, ooh, Christy has completed her task she done over there she might be done uh, I just want to tell y'all uh, August the 1st I'm, I'm planning on releasing my new series Medicine Creek, um, which should be out tomorrow. Uh, yeah, today's Friday. I'm recording this. I should have it out by this evening if nothing goes wrong. Knock on wood. All right, there's that. Back away. Throw this up. I'm just going to leave this. Uh, right out here for now and see how much if Chrissy actually got everything done pretty sure that she does yeah be right back alrighty she is done I tell you what I'm just gonna cut back across here there's our shop right over there. we have 6,086 liters in the combine and uh, I'll give you a, a, a total here in just a second all right folks got everything done and everything and we are uh, 45,227 liters of oats I am so sorry I told y'all barley I don't know what I was thinking, but these are oats, so we can't use them for seed or feed for the chickens or to make seeds. It's strictly horse food, so we're just going to sell this. Um, we'll get a good price for it. I don't know. Uh, we still need to do our eggs. I'll probably be in the next episode, or I might do it off screen. Don't know. But right now, oats are down. Uh, highest price is. Well, y'all y'all know that name. I can't pronounce it right, so I ain't gonna try. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna let these prices go up. 
So these are going to go in their silo. But anyway, folks, this is this is going to be it. I'm going to get all this equipment cleaned up and ready for the next crop, which I think is going to be those sunflowers. So we're going to have to get us a corn header for this beast. And, uh, yeah. Um, just want to say thank you. I appreciate all your love and support. Comments, folks. I love the comments. <sighs> Y'all are very amazing on the comments I love that it keeps me going sorry I ain't been busy uploading every day I'm gonna try my best um, tomorrow will be Madison Creek first episode um, I do have five or six of them pre-recorded it and edited and ready to go already uploaded to YouTube all I gotta do is just set a date to them let me know if you want every other day or every day uploads. And I will try to see what I can do. But yeah, uh, Mason Creek's going to be probably, uh, you know, probably about three or four episodes of it. And then I'll jump back over to this when the next crop is ready to harvest. So yeah. Don't want to bore y'all with the boring stuff, but yeah, folks, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a, a great day, a, a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next, ep next episode. Anyway, that's been your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, see y'all later. <laughs>